Kia ora. I'm Zane, one of the park rangers working for Greater Wellington. Today, we're going to show you the loop track at Kaitoki Regional Park. To reach Kaitoki Regional Park, turn onto Waterworks Road off the State Highway 2, follow the signs to the end of the road to the Swing Bridge car park. From the car park, you can go down to the stairs to the beautiful Tiawa Kairangi for a swim, or go to Rivendell and check out the filming location for Lord of the Rings, or cross the Swing Bridge to the loop track. The new Kaitoki Swing Bridge is fully wheelchair and buggy accessible. It was built in 2021. It's accessible because it's wide enough for buggies and wheelchairs, but it also has flat sections along the length so wheelchairs can take breaks. Once you cross the Swing Bridge and you're on the track, you'll be in beautiful ancient untouched rainforest. Some of these trees are massive and are up to 900 years old. There's also an abundance of fern life in the forest. You can also listen to beautiful bird song as birds are really, really happy in this forest. And since this is a rainforest, it receives double the rainfall of Wellington per year, which makes it a really unique ecosystem. Since this is a loop walk, whether you start left or right, you'll always end up back here at the Swing Bridge. Because this is a relatively flat track, it's suitable for all ages and fitness levels. It's a short track, so if you're walking at a fast pace, it will only take five minutes. But if, like me, you like to take your time taking the scenery, it should take close to 15. Dogs are allowed on the track, but please keep them under control at all times. When on this track, make sure to bring sensible walking shoes. In summer, it's important to bring water and sun protection. And in winter, bring plenty of warm clothes because it can get quite cold and also bring a rain jacket because it quite often rains here. When on the track, you'll find the new boardwalk. It's wide enough for wheelchairs and buggies and it also has an added benefit of protecting the tree roots. A fascinating example of the plants you find in the forest is the rada vine. So this has a really interesting life cycle. It starts as a vine up in the top of the tree, comes down, connects to the ground, and this vine will get bigger and bigger and bigger. And after hundreds of years, this vine will fully enclose this rimu here and kill the rimu inside. And it's uh, just the way it survives. And um, it's a really interesting life cycle. So you can walk around the track and you'll see these rada vines at different stages of their progression. So some fully around the tree and some just smaller vines like this. 